Hello everyone, in today's video I want to go through my DC Pen Show haul. I know in my last video, my last Currently Ink video, I said I was going to take a little break and redo my setup, but I forgot at the time that I was planning to go to the uh, DC Pen Show. So I'm going to do this video just to go through really quickly some of the things that I got. Um, very interesting when I, this is my first time going to the DC Pen Show. I've only been to the Baltimore Pen Show. And the DC Pin Show is another level. I mean, the amount of people there is just crazy. So I wasn't there very long. I just went uh, today, which is Saturday, for about an hour and a half, two hours. I knew when I, uh, whenever I go to a pin show, and I've only, this is only my third one, I go knowing that I want to get a certain item. The first pin show, I knew I wanted to get a Hardy Pin Right. The second pin show, I knew that I wanted to get a Jonathan Brooks. And this one, I knew I wanted to get Gravitas. So I was very excited to see that Gravitas was going to be there. So that was my my main goal, was to get a Gravitas pin. And this, this was the only time I ever took cash, which it didn't matter, because I ended up still using my card. I said I was going to take this amount of cash, and I ended up going over. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to start with the freebies. I got a couple of Diamond Infant inks at the freebie table, just like the Baltimore Pen Show. The DC Pen Show also has a freebie table. So I got Moonbeam and Blizzard. So I look forward to using those because I love me some Infant, infant inks. And I saw this, uh, this poor Ferris Well Press uh, pen sitting there. And I know these, these carousel pens get a uh, not very good reviews. I'm hoping this is a good one. I'm not holding out any hope, really. But, uh, I mean, it looks good. But we'll see. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. But it was a freebie, so I won't complain about it. It looks solid. So that's the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel. And a couple of Pen World magazines. This one was from the, there was a lady there that uh, I think she works with the publication and she was telling me the history of uh, Pen World and they did offer a special discount for DC Pen Show for you to subscribe. So I plan on subscribing. I think this is, uh, you get six issues a year. So every other month you get an issue. So I got two, two freebies from her. And then also there was a, older one at the, the freebie table from 2022, but these are these are fairly new. So I look forward to reading those. Um, the only other freebie, th this freebie uh, piece sticker and a piece button came with these. And these were from Keith from Random Thinks. Uh, think with a K, not a G, not a random thing, but random thinks on Instagram. Uh, so he makes 3D printed, various 3D printed items, pen holders, little vowel holders. So uh, this is a T, a green T, but you can also put your pen in here too. So that works. So I got this from him. And then there's a bigger one with a cup and saucer with a, some holes for your pen. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I got these two things for $20. I think it's pretty, pretty good. And I'll go into the inks. I got me, a, bought me some Enderillium ink. My first time buying some of their ink. So I got this whole pack of the Cephalopod series. Uh, this series was something that I've been eyeing for a while, but I never pulled the trigger on it. But I saw this there and decided to give it a try. And these are uh, the Platinum Preppy, the Maquillet Waz, the limited edition Platinum Preppies. And these, uh, I also um, uh, had them in my Atlas Stationers cart, as well as my, um, my Pin Boutique cart. And haven't clicked purchase yet so I saw these there and I decided to well, well I could actually see them 
in person and I decided to pick these two so what I'll do is I'll dip these and show you how they write I'll also show you how this Ferris wheel press writes and this was an incidental purchase I didn't mean to purchase this but the Gravis House was my first purchase and uh, then I just kind of wandered around and I came across Good Made Better which is a US pen maker this is an Ebonite pen and um, if you've ever been, a, been to a pen show I don't know if you've ever experienced the pen that you see that you don't pick and that, but it stays in your mind while you're wandering around and that was this pen I just could not get it out of my mind because I just love the way it looks. I love the, the copper or the brass there. It's already already has a patina to it. And then it also has it at the section, this brass. And it's a it's a Yobo nib. It's a fine nib. And ebonite. I just love the simple design of this. Uh, it's a nice gentleman. I don't think I got his his name. I think I have his card. It came in here. Uh, pretty simple arrangement nothing fancy I think I have I think I have this card in here so his card this is the Andorillium Narwhal had a really neat uh, they have a new um, retractable fountain pen um, that I saw in Mike what is Mike's last name? Mattison he did a walkthrough, uh, a two hour, almost three hour walkthrough, and I saw that pen, and I was hoping that it would be available, but it's not available yet. But it's only it's only ninety nine dollars, and it's a really cool looking retractable. That's my code for retractable. Uh, who is this? Oh, Lemire Ink is where I bought I bought this. Oh, I have another bottle of ink somewhere. I bought some Wearing Ghoul ink as well. So that's why I bought this from. Where is the other gentleman's card? Here it is. Yeah, Good Made Better. Dan Keller. Dan at Good Made, GoodMadeBetter.com. So, oops. So I look forward to trying that. And this is what I really went for. Not this necessarily this model, but I knew I wanted a Gravitas. And my impressions of Ben, Ben Walsh, well, I've seen him on Emmy's videos, Emmy at Pen Venture, and I've seen him in a couple of Q and A's, and he always struck me as a very reserved, almost shy, quiet person. Maybe didn't cross come across as very friendly, but that wasn't the case today. He was a probably my favorite person to, to speak to today, and there were a lot of nice people there, of course, and uh, he was just, and he wasn't just being nice to me because I was buying something. Um, I was there before I pulled out the cash and he was just very nice. So after I agreed to purchase the, this pen, I told him that I had a small YouTube channel and that I would review it. And uh, he said, be honest, uh, tell me the good and the bad. Uh, he said, he admitted that he had some issues with shipping and he wants to know the good and the bad. So, and that included, you know, some of the shipping issues. And that goes to, you know, his website is down right now. So I couldn't actually get the model. And I was so excited. I didn't even ask him what this the model of this pen was. So I actually won't be able to know that until his website comes up. Um, so let me pull it out. And he gave me all this extra stuff. He gave me this Gravitas notebook. And again, that was this. He gave me all this before I mentioned that I was going to review it. And it gave me this little loop and this gravitas little baggie here and a sticker, gravitas sticker. So this is the pen. Again, I don't know what model it is, but I just saw it when I walked in and I was just like, ooh, that's the one. So it comes in this nice pouch. And this is a carbon fiber pen. And it is a piston filler. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah, two black pens today. I'm normally not 
don't buy black pens that often. Normally I buy, you know, blue pens mostly. But I saw this and I was just like, ugh. I want that. The only thing I wish he had on it was his little his little logo here. I wish that was on here somewhere. But it's just it's uh, I guess he was going for a very clean effect, but his logo is there. And again, this is also a fine nib. It's a big nib. So let me get my um my ink. This is the ink that I got with the the preppies from Lemur. 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 Lemur ink. So I will, I'm just gonna ink. I'm just gonna um, dip all of these in this. And this is Wearing Girl George Orwell, 1984. It's a red with some some shimmer in it. I've already forgotten what the swatch looked like. I'll use this Rhodia notebook. So we'll start with the we'll start with the this we'll start with this first we'll press the carousel it does need some tuning but it's not bad uh, it just needs a little tuning it's a little rough this is a oh, it feels like a medium I can't really see what it is could use Ben's loop, but feels like a medium. It's not bad. Hopefully it doesn't crack or anything, but that's a good freebie. It does right, it doesn't skip or anything. So we'll try the preppy, the preppy walls. So these are called the Platinum Preppy Fountain Pen Modern Maquillet Limited Edition The Wall. And these aren't your normal like fancy maquillet, but there is some maquillet art that goes into making these. So it is not false advertising. There is actually some maquillet art on these. So here's the pen. Comes in comes with a cartridge. A little platinum cartridge and I'll put the what this this art pattern is on the screen I think they have like maybe five or six different patterns but I will put that and they only come in fine so you have your fine platinum nib there so nice uh, platinum modern maquillage very smooth very nice oh yeah this is nice you know it's just your normal platinum preppy just with some maki added to it and these are $13 a piece it's still you know kind of like your flimsy plastic but has that beautiful artwork that I love I won't do this one but I'll show it to you it's no use and they're both they're both fine like I said all they only come in fine and this is the other one And again, I'll put the, the color pattern on the screen. Now we'll try the Good Made Better pen. Again, this is Ebonite. And it has a fine Yovo steel nib. Brass. 
I'm assuming it's brass. So good made better. Oh, this is super smooth. Oh, this is smooth. This is silky smooth. He definitely tuned these nibs. I don't think they came from Yovo like this. Wow, that feels nice. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. This is going to be really nice to write with. And it just feels good. You know, Ebonite feels really nice in the hand. So that's that one. And I saw uh, Ben tune this one. So I'm going to have some high hopes. This must be a number eight, eight size nib. It just has spine, gravi his Gravitas logo. And it's piston filler. There's a piston filler. Come on, you, got, you better be nice. So this is the Gravitas. Yep, it is Gravitas. It feels a lot like that one. Um, model, I don't know yet. It's fine, steel. And all these are firm, have been firm nibs. This also feels very, very nice in the hand. Very comfortable. Um, does it post? It does post. And I think it will work for some people post it. I don't think I'll post it. But the ink looks a little bit darker in this pen than it does in the Good Made Better. The good may better, I believe, does not post. No, it doesn't. It doesn't post. Um, so that's really all. I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, the only thing was they gave everyone these Galen leather bags when you when you walked in. I think some people had the little Galen leather, the little pin pouches that they always send with your orders, but. Um, I think they ran out and they were unloading another box of them, but I didn't, you know, stick around to ask for for one because I have so many of them that you know I could save it for someone else. But that's really all that I wanted to share with you. Um, yeah, all in all, I as always, I spent more money than I intended, but I love pens, so what can I say? And again, everyone was as friendly as always, just a bunch of kind-hearted people there. It's just I couldn't, there's no way I could spend more than maybe two hours there with so many people. But it was nice, my first DC and Pin show. I'm very happy to, to go there and I enjoyed my little time there and I'm definitely happy with what I received. I will do full reviews of probably all of these at some point. And maybe do some ink swatching once I get my new setup going. I didn't get a chance to really talk to anyone. Um, when I was at the Baltimore Pen Show, I did meet, uh, gosh, Jonathan Weinberg. And I got to talk with him. But I wasn't able to really uh, see any other YouTubers. Or meet and talk with any other YouTubers. I was hoping to meet Lisa Pearson. I know Lisa lives uh, kind of nearby. So I was hoping she would be there. Um, I'm sure she's probably going, but I didn't get a chance to see her. I was going to um, introduce myself. Uh, she, um, she's she been doing YouTube videos for a while, so she has a pretty solid following. So I was hoping to meet her, but I didn't see her. Um, I did, other than Ben, I uh, did get to talk a bit with Ryan Krusak. Um, I have a Ryan Krusak pen that I bought a couple years ago. He was a nice... Nice young man, very sharply dressed, uh, only outdone by David Oscarson. I don't know if you've ever been to a pin show where David is, but he sells very expensive pins, so I guess he has to dress as sharply as he does, but every time I see him, he is sharp as a tack. But I must say that uh, Ryan was also very sharply dressed um, and very nice young man to speak with. 
as well. He makes beautiful pens. Hopefully I can buy another crew sack at some point. Uh, who else did I talk with? Not very many. It was just so many people that I was a little overwhelmed. I did see Brian Goulet and Drew. Brian Goulet is jacked. Uh, he is a big dude. He looks very strong. Like he could be very useful around the house. His wife is lucky because she has someone that can open jars like probably with no effort at all. Probably could lift all kinds of boxes. Very, very strong, strong looking man. Drew, I don't think he would be very helpful with opening any jars, but uh, he looked very, like Drew, like you see on the, the videos, very happy, very happy-go-lucky. I, I, again, I didn't get a chance to talk to, with them. Um, they were, they had a few people that were, you know, trying to talk with them, so I just wanted to, at that point, wanted to leave, but um, they both looked very happy to be there, very nice. I think Hemingway Jones was there as well. I didn't, I didn't talk with him, so. Um, it, all in all, it was a good a good experience. It's just a little bit too too overstimulating for me. Uh, I prefer for me a pin show a little bit lower key. I think the Baltimore pin show is more to my suiting. But the good thing about the the Washington pin show is that they have a lot of people there. Like Gravitas wasn't at the um, Baltimore pin show. Uh, Brian Krusak said that he's been to previous Baltimore pin shows, but he didn't go to the last one. And I don't think I saw him at the the one before that either. So they had a lot more vendors there. Um, but if you don't mind a lot of people, I highly recommend it. Um, I got a lot of good stuff here. Um, so it was all good. But that's all I had today. Again, I will review these at some point. But thank you all for watching. Again, I am going to take a little break and get my setup and get my um, work on a few things. And uh, I will catch you in about uh, three, four weeks. And you take care.